What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel where I unbox stuff, test gadgets, and talk about things. And for today's video, I have four LED accent lights that I wanted to put to the test. See if they worked out, see if they're practical. I uh, saw a couple of these uh, ads on Facebook. I'm like, okay, I have to get one of these things. Um, and I'll show you exactly which one I'm talking about in a second. But for the first LED accent light I wanted to test is this. It is a... Vansky sensor strips as you can see there's a little guy getting out of his bed and the little motion light kind of goes off as he, he's getting out of bed here so uh says 3000 kelvin love family love life i don't know what that has to do with anything product related i mean these are just little little night lights they're not really supposed to light up your room or anything like that they're just meant as an accent light and uh what i want to do is unbox this test them out see how well they work, how bright they are. And with all these products here, what I wanna do is wait for it to get dark, and I wanna see how, just how bright these are and how well they work. Um, yeah, let's unbox this and see what they're all about. All right, so let's get into one of them. Okay. Let's it up. Instructions. Looks like the sensor is here. And then it looks like it has a, a timer as well. You can kind of see that. Looks like it says 30 seconds to six minutes. USB, looks like some mounting 3M tape. Wall plug, and looks like some more 3M tape. And inside here, we have the actual strips itself. Just comes in a little spool. Um, yeah, so let's get into this. And uh, what I wanna do is plug it in, just see how bright it is in the daytime. And then, um, like I said earlier, I'm gonna wait till night and um, put them somewhere, just random anywhere, and uh, see how bright these actually are. They're not supposed to be super bright, like it says on the back of this thing. It just says a warm, soft glow of light. So my plan was to put this under my couch. Uh, I know it says bed, but I don't want any more lights in my bedroom. I already have a ton of little lights in my bedroom, uh, like the modem and uh, the, um, the Philips Hue hub that I have to already cover up. I have to put little pieces of cardboard over it just to kind of cover up all the, all the ambient light that's in my room already. I'm going to put this together and uh, see how well it works. All right, so... USB power connector. So where does it go? It's right here. Just find a random outlet, which would be right here. Okay, got that plugged in. So let's see which side this goes on. Right here, it's a 12 volt. Plugs right in. What do they do here? Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna plug it in and test it without trying to do any of that nonsense. So far I can't get this to light up. So let's see, maybe it's one of those where it has to be dark out. Let me just try that. I thought this was a motion sensor, but maybe it's a light sensor. And nothing. So yeah guys, I have this plugged into the wall and I have the other end plugged into the LED strip. It is a five foot strip, by the way. As of right now, I can't get it to turn on. I'm thinking it's one of those where it has to be dark for it to turn on, and I don't see anything about that in the instructions. Um, just says it is motion activated. Power supply, blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, so yeah, I can't get this to turn on. Maybe cover this up. I think it would turn on regardless as soon as I covered it up. And it's still not turning on. What I'm gonna do is just wait for uh, wait for dark 
when I'm testing the other ones and see if this actually turns on um, when it gets dark. But uh, yeah, uh, let's see what else I have. All right, the next LED gadget I have here, I saw it and I had to get it. I was in Walmart and I had to get this. It's a uh, as seen on TV toilet bowl light. <laughs> Check this thing out. All right, turn your toilet into a nightlight. So if that's important to you, you might want to check this gadget out. It says it has seven changing colors. I wonder if it pulses or just changes colors or you have to manually change it. Set to a single color or color cycle mode with the touch of a button so it does cycle. Uh, red, green, aqua, purple, blue, yellow, or white. Uh, very cool. Let's break this open and uh, put it to the test and see how it works. Okay, well there it is. It looks like, according to the back here, it looks like this is supposed to just clip to the side. It takes three AAA batteries. Great. I have to go dig up some AAA batteries. Motion sensor, light automatically turns on when motion is detected. Uh, water resistant housing and flexible arm to mount. So. Yeah, so this is slightly flexible, so you can just put this to the side of your toilet. Uh, tonight, I'm gonna put this to the test and see if it works. And um, I don't know, I can see this potentially being maybe cool? I don't know. We'll see if this is practical or not. I, I really, I, I don't have any words for this thing. I don't know, but I'll wait for it to get dark, put the batteries in, and we'll check it out and see how cool this thing is. All right, the next LED light I have here is a rechargeable lithium battery motion sensor LED nightlight bar. It's supposed to have a magnetic back to it, which I already stuck the, uh, the metal to where I want to test this out tonight. Um, but that had 3M tape on the back of it. This is magnetic. What you can do is just slap it to something and it just stays there. What's really cool about this is it is rechargeable and it is motion sensitive. So, USB, charger right there. And on the side here is the switch where it says on, off, and G. The G mode is when you walk by it, it has to be dark, but when you walk by it, it'll set the lights off. Well, let's turn it on. Uh, very cool. Yeah. I can see this being pretty bright when it's completely dark in the house. Let's wait till tonight when it gets dark and I'm gonna put this to the test and uh, see how well they work. Uh, let's see the last LED gadget that I have. All right, the last LED accent light that I have here is the Philips Hue Bloom. I ordered a couple of these and the reason I ordered these is because it works with uh, my Alexa. Cancel, always listening. But it also works with Apple HomeKit and Google Assistant, but I just so happen to have the the Amazon version of the smart home. These are full RGB. Uh, it works, like I said, is voice command, and uh, they're not really bright. They're not really meant to light up a room. They're just meant to give your room that little accent of color if you want, or just a very dim night light. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them up in each corner of my living room and uh, hook it up through the Alexa app and the Philips Hue app. She doesn't know that. Every time you say it, it gets annoying, but you get used to it. But what you're supposed to do with this first, you're supposed to hook it up to the Philips Hue app. And once you scan, once you hook the, you know, you give it power, once you scan for it, it'll say the Philips Hue Bloom. Um, you give it a name, you give it a group, and then if you want it to be voice activated, you have to hook it up through the Amazon Alexa app. And then I'm gonna see how well these work as an accent light and see if I can actually change the color with my voice. So what I'm gonna do now is just wait for it to get dark so I can put all these to the test and see how they work. See you in a few hours. All right, so here we are, it's a couple hours later. Um, what I did was I took the Vansky LED sensor strips and I put them in the kitchen here. So I put the sensor there and I put all the excess wire, I wrapped it around that thing that was included and stretched it all the way underneath my countertop here. And it's about five feet. 
So what this is supposed to do is when I come walking around the corner here, if I come walking around the corner here, it's supposed to sense my movement and turn on underneath here. So I wanna see how well that works and how bright these things really are. Um, Cause I couldn't get these things to turn on before, but I think it was just because it wasn't dark enough. So uh, let's plug this in and see how it works. So let's get back here. I'm gonna turn off the lights in here. Off. All right, let's see if it catches my movement. Oh, there we go. Man, that is really bright. But it was pretty sensitive. It caught me right when I was coming around the corner. Um, earlier when I unboxed these, uh, I couldn't get them to turn on, but that's just because it was too dark. But uh, it works pretty well if it's dark. And it, uh, it picked up my movement pretty flawlessly. That is awesome. That's really bright though. I mean, you can see it's lighting, <laughs> it's lighting it up pretty good. Um, I have it set for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna wait here and give it 30 seconds and uh, see if it trips, if I can trip it again. So I'll probably pause this until it goes out and uh, we'll try it again. All right, so the lights just went out. It was a little over 30 seconds, but uh, they just went out and what I wanna do is I wanna see if I can trip these lights again. Let's see how well this works. Walking in, boom. These are actually really, really awesome. I like them. Here, let's see what they look like underneath. So pretty cool. My only complaint with these is I say they're a little too bright. I wish you can uh, you can actually dim these. I wish they were dimmable. I would put them at its lowest setting just to have a nice little nice little night light. I don't I didn't want it too bright like this. Um, you can see. It's dark in here and it's lighting up the whole other side of the room. But um, it's either that or I'm gonna put them under the couch. But um, yeah, yeah, I mean, these these work really well. I definitely recommend these. These were the Vansky sensor strips. And like anything else, I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna pick these up for yourself. Oh, and by the way, I don't work out here in my kitchen. I put those there because uh, my cats like to get inside the cupboard where we put the cat food. So that kind of <laughs> that kind of uh, prevents them from getting inside and getting inside the cupboard here where their food is. But yeah, anyways, let's go to the next gadget, which is the uh, LED toilet light. Okay, so we're back here in my very, very small bathroom. And I have here, the As Seen On TV toilet bowl light. And um, I'm gonna put the batteries, I'm gonna try to attempt to put these batteries in with one hand and uh, clip it on the toilet and we're gonna see how well this works and how bright it is. It does say, which I missed before, it does say right there that it has five stages of adjustable brightness. Great for potty training. That's a bold statement. How is this great for potty training? Maybe the kids think it's really cool that it has an LED light in the toilet bowl? Very, very curious. But anyways, let's get to it. Let's get the batteries in here. I already put two in. So if I put the other battery in. Oh, look at that, the light goes on. <laughs> Look at that. So right now it's on the cycle setting. So if I press the button once, it should switch between the colors. And eventually, I'll get back to the cycle mode. So let's leave it red. No. Let's put it to purple. Put it to purple. And what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to, it says face it towards the door and then clamp it in, oh boy. All right, that's gonna be weird. So let me see if I can bend it a little bit. Bend it down, oops, there we go. 
helpful if you guys can see this. And it's not supposed to be sticking up at all. As you can see it's kind of sticking up a little bit. So if I close the lid, it's gonna... Hmm. Well, it doesn't really fit the way I want it to. It's supposed to stay right down in there, but look at that, it's kind of cool. I'm gonna turn the lights off. <laughs> Check that out. So how do you do the adjustable brightness with this thing? Okay, so according to the instructions, you're supposed to hold down the button until it blinks. Okay, and then you're supposed to be able to, there you go. One, two, three, four. Oh, two, three. I'll set it there because that's supposed to be the brightest. Let's leave it there and I want to check out the motion sensitive feature of this thing. So turn it off. Wow, that is really cool. So I'm gonna wait for this to turn off and walk into the bathroom and see how sensitive the light is. All right guys, so I'm right outside the bathroom. The toilet light just went out. So I'm gonna walk in front of the door and I'm gonna see how sensitive this light's gonna be. I'm gonna see how far away it's gonna pick me up. All right. Oh, I mean, I'm right on top of it, you guys. Oh, there we go. Hmm. That took a little bit. Maybe I was walking too slow. Let's try that again. All right, so the light just went out again. What I'm doing, I'm gonna try to approach it from a different angle and see if it'll actually work this time. And I'm gonna walk faster too. I think I was walking too slow. Maybe the sensor didn't pick me up. Okay, so let's try this. Start walking towards the bathroom. Okay, I mean, you're almost right on top of it before I can sense you. This is still kind of cool. Let me turn the light on in here. This is still kind of cool. It's 100% novelty. Um, do you need this? No. Is it gonna help your kid potty train? No. Um, am I still gonna turn the light on when I come to the bathroom? Yeah, I'm gonna still turn the light on when I come to the bathroom. I'm not gonna use this as my only light. I do have a, a little night light here that's kind of bright but I'm, I'm definitely not gonna just use this as my light to see <laughs> the color changing. This, hold on, check this out. <laughs> wow. I don't know guys, you make the decision. Um, but I got this at Walmart and I didn't pick this up on Amazon, but I'll give you an Amazon link below and um, Tell me what you think if you have one of these let me know what you think of them um, But I don't think I'm gonna keep this in the toilet. All right, so now that we saw the toilet bowl light um, Let's go and check out the little bar strips that I had and what I did was I put them on the staircase So I'm gonna walk downstairs and I'm gonna show you what I did with them Okay, so I'm back. I'm here in the hallway on my staircase and we have these little sensor strips, these little bar lights that I just charged both of them. And what I want to do is here, you can kind of see, I put the little metal strips right on the side of my staircase here. And there's supposed to be a magnet on the back that's supposed to just attach there. Let's see how well that works. I'm going to put it on G, ooh, that's supposed to be, there we go, that's supposed to be the motion sensitive mode. Man, those are bright. Okay, and put it on G. And boom. Okay. So I'm gonna turn the hallway light off. Hey, Charlie. Here he goes, come downstairs, set off the motion lights. Oh, there goes Church, there she goes, wow. That's really sensitive. She's right next to it, look at that. Uh-oh. Well, they're gonna start playing next to the lights when I'm trying to demonstrate it. <laughs> it's all right guys, come down. Or you can walk along the little skinny ledge up there. That's cool too. But let's see if they don't come down the stairs and I'm gonna turn off the hallway lights. Here we go. That one went out. Oh, Charlie just set it off. 
Maybe I don't have to demonstrate them because my cats are demonstrating them perfectly for me. Hey guys, what do you think of the lights? Yeah. Cool, huh? She's like, I don't give a sh. Both the lights are out. I know the cast just demonstrated it for you, but I'm gonna try it myself and just see how bright this is. Maybe I don't have to turn the hall light on every time I walk down these stairs. So let's see how close I have to get. Yeah, that works really well. Look at that. As soon as you get near those things, it turns right on. And that's pretty bright, guys. I mean, these things were pretty cheap. I'd say if you put a couple more in the middle there, this will be enough to light up this whole staircase. This is awesome. I like these. Cool. Well, yeah, I would say two more in the middle there and you're all set. Then in about 30 seconds, they'll just turn off. And they're rechargeable, so you don't have to worry about replacing the batteries or anything like that. There they go. And boop. And boop. Very cool. Definitely recommend these lights. I'll put a link in the description below if you want these for yourself. And let's move on to the last LED accent light, which is the Philips Hue Bloom. And I'll show you what I did with those. Okay, guys, so what I do with the Philips Bloom, the Philips Hue Bloom, is I put one in the little corner here. This is my motion sensor for the alarm system. And I put it right behind there to kind of hit this wall with some light. And the other one I put over here behind the spooky little tree here. I put it behind there to kind of hit this light because I had this little, this little stand in the corner with a bunch of candles. Since I did hook it up through the Philips Hue app, gave it a name, I called them corner lights. Um, I know you can call it corner lights on the app and it'll both they'll both go on or you can go right into the actual hue app and you can you can uh adjust them individually as individual fixtures but since i did hook it up with the alexa app i'm going to see how well this works i do have three of these devices uh the echo devices here's the dot i have i forgot what they call this but it's the one with the better speaker on taller with the better speaker and upstairs I have the spot with the with the screen which is really really cool but uh, let me check this out and see how well it's gonna work turn the lights off Alexa turn on corner lights okay. boom check that out Alexa turn off corner lights Okay, very cool. But let's see how well it works with the color feature. Alexa, turn on corner lights to blue. Okay. Ooh, both of them turn blue. Uh, Alexa, turn corner lights red. Okay. Pretty awesome. What do you guys think? This works flawless, man. Look at that. Alexa, turn corner lights green. Okay. Alexa, turn corner lights light green. Okay. Oh man. So it even understands if I want a light color or a darker color fully saturated. Alexa, turn corner lights to purple. So it completely understands everything that I say. These are awesome. These are awesome. I definitely need, I need more of these to put in some other corners. Maybe put some in the kitchen here, maybe some up in the bedroom. I definitely recommend these. These are just awesome. And like I said before, they're not gonna work as, you know, lighting up a room like a normal light fixture would. It's just an accent light. It's just for style. Um, if you like lights like I do, you're gonna love these things. Let me know if you guys have these and what you think of these, but cause you know, I, I saw some of the reviews on them and the reviews weren't that great. And uh, I'm just wondering why, cause uh, I really, I really like these. I saw, I did see some videos where some guys had them on the floor, kind of 
hitting the walls, which are kind of cool. I can't do that. Why? Hey, Charlie, how come I can't have lights on the floor? Yeah, I wonder why. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And now, for absolutely no reason at all, here's my cat, Charlie.